Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate, when they ate it, like we were evolved to do. Very special episode today, Sage. Although we can find different members of the Sage family all over the world, it was actually used more for spiritual practices than anything else, at least from what we have heard of. But the Sage you know to be most common in the kitchen is actually native to Europe and it has a long and amazing history. The most common type of sage that you know of probably is the white sage, that's the Salvia Appiana. And that's used by many tribes in the Western United States for things like smudging and other uh, religious and spiritual practices. The sage that I'm talking about in this video is the Salvia Officinalis native to the Mediterranean region, specifically the areas surrounding the Aegean Sea. And it's been used for culinary and medicinal purposes for thousands of years in Europe and the Middle East. The earliest mentions of it come from ancient Greece about 500 BC and a bit later on where it was believed to help memory and cognitive function. Sage was also used for treating a variety of ailments in ancient Greece and Rome, including snake bites, fevers, digestive problems, and also infections of the mouth. In ancient Rome, a little later on in time, we're talking about 2,000 years ago, Pliny the Elder praised it for its medicinal properties and described it as a powerful natural remedy of various ailments, including as a diuretic, a local anesthetic for the skin even, and even a styptic. It was not just common in the ancient Mediterranean area though. Further in the north of Europe at the time of Charlemagne and Wallafried Straubo, they wrote about the amazing benefits of sage and how it was customary to grow it in monasteries to be used for a wide variety of benefits similar as the ancient Greeks used them. It was also used as a natural insect repellent in the Middle Ages, and it was hung in homes to ward off pests, and it was even getting into more of the spiritual uses too, that its close relatives were used all the way across the ocean in the Native Americas. To ward off bad spirits, sage is always meant to do this. However, sage was used more for those purposes in the Mediterranean region and the US, of course, but if you are looking for plants used for this type of tradition, warring off bad spirits, insects, and just general good health, um, plants native to the north of Europe um, believed to do that would be things like mugwort and St. John's wort, just to name a couple in the northern European tradition. Either way, in modern times, sage continues to be a popular herb in many cuisines in Europe and around the world, including Mediterranean, Middle Eastern, and North American dishes, and it's used to flavor a variety of foods, usually meat, but also soups and stews. Sage is also valued for its medicinal properties. Some modern studies have shown it to have anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, and antioxidant properties. And it's sometimes used as a natural remedy even today for digestive problems, sore throats, and other ailments just like the ancients used it for. You don't have to believe any of that if you don't want to. Either way, it's a great flavoring to your dishes. It can be harvested as early as the late spring into the summer, and it can be added to any dishes completely fresh right around then. But as always, with most of the herbs, when they are dried and preserved, they have a very long shelf life and can be used year round. How about you guys? Do you like sage? I personally don't use it for cooking a whole lot, but I do use it for the spiritual aspects. Um, and I try to get my hands on the European sage if possible. But let us know if you have any recipes, any ways you'd like to prepare things with it, right below in the comments.